Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we've got episode number four of my West Ham Football Manager 19 beta save. And today we've got not one, but two, two massive games for you guys today. And it's a double header as we take on Everton in the Premier League. And straight after that, we take them on in the small matter of the uh, FA Cup semi-final at Wembley. Yep, guys, two massive games today. And as you can see, it's been a little while since you guys were last with me, in-game at least. It's been about two and a half months. And the reason for that is I wanted to try and bring you a game, but I got so addicted to this that I just could not stop playing it over the last couple of nights. So I've just kept on playing and playing and playing. And now we're at this point, and I think this is a good point, a good couple of games to be bringing you guys, the double header against Everton. So if we just go very quickly through all the results since she was last with me, which was for their absolute nightmare against Arsenal. 5-0 defeat, absolutely knocked us out of the cup, no chance of getting to that particular final. And then after that, we had a 1-0 defeat in the 92nd minute against Liverpool. We defended so well for that game. And I was sure we was going to escape with a 0-0. But it was not to be. They did pummel us for most of the game, if I'm going to be honest. So they probably deserved a win. But I thought we was going to escape with a point. But that wasn't to be. And so, following that up, we came back home and we had a very pleasing performance. 3-0 against Burnley. Arnautovic, Antonio and Cresswell with their goals. And it was a game we really dominated, to be honest. So, I was very happy with that performance. I mean, look at that. Cresswell, 8.5. Arnautovic, 8.8. Antonio, 7.8. So, very happy with that, I was. But then we went two games without a win. Bournemouth was a funny one. Bournemouth 1-1. One, one, Arnautovic again with the goal. And then they got equalised in the 85th minute. So, yeah, a little bit disappointing to not win that one. But it happens, so can't complain too much. And then after that, it was the Carabao Cup semi-final second leg. I did think about bringing it to you, but 5-0 down from the first leg. I didn't see much point. But I did get a little bit of hope very early. Marco Arnautovic giving us a lead on the night. I thought, oh, maybe there might be a little bit of hope. But by half-time, that was all extinguished with it being 2-2. And so, yeah, Reese Oxford really, with the own goal, that really killed us, I suppose you could say. We didn't really have much of a chance after that. If that hadn't gone in, it might have been a different story. I did tell us to go all out attack for the game, so you never know, but that was not to be. But then we had another cup game, a 4 0 win over Championship QPR. It's a Diop with one. Zadas with a couple, which was very pleasing to see. He's looking a little bit of a player, and Zadas on Football Manager. Who knew he was decent? Apparently, every streamer in the world, apparently. So, yeah, he got a couple. Connor Coventry with another one. So, that was all very pleasing. Very nice to see all youngsters getting the goals. So, that was very pleasing. Very helpful to see for the future going forward. And then after that, a 2-1 defeat to Wolves. And it was a game we just never got into. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it was only three days following QPR. But we just never got into it. Adama Traore got in the early goal. Uh, then Den Donka in the first, second minute making it 2-0. And Antonio did get one back, but very disappointing performance. We'll move on quickly. And then we had a very pleasing performance, a much better performance. Felipe Anderson with possibly his best game under me so far, getting two goals. Arnautovic with another. And Renato Sanchez, who's the one person I brought in in January, I've got him in on loan, and I believe that was his debut, and he got the goal. So that was very, very nice to see. That's another reason why I didn't bring you any games in January, because the transfer window was looking very, very quiet. Didn't really see much point in bringing you an episode if we're not going to be doing much transfer activity. So yeah, Sanchez came on for his debut, and in the last minute, got us our fourth goal to really cement the win. So that was very nice. 
But then Manchester City did what Manchester City do. They show up places, they score four goals, they win games. Let's move on rather quickly because, again, we're disappointing. And it wasn't helped by the fact that Moses got himself sent off in the first half when it was just 2-0. So you never know, might have had a little bit of a chance, but I doubt it. And then the FA Cup adventure continued on with a 3-1 win against another championship side, Ipswich. Arnautovic with, his, with the first goal, Obiang with a couple, and then they got one back right at the end, but they never really challenged us. So that again was nice to see. But then an absolutely awful performance. Issa Diop getting himself sent off in the 11th minute versus Southampton. Adam Unas, is that how you pronounce his name? In injury time of the first half, putting them in the lead. And then Gabby Adini in a 55th minute. So, yeah, not really too much to say about that. I was so annoyed with the team, I didn't even make any subs. They was playing so bad, I said they just all stay out there and deal with it themselves. And then, three days after that, we had a brilliant performance against United I really thought we was going to win it. It was a bit of a ding-dong battle. Antonio gave us the lead. Lukaku equalised early in the second half. Antonio said, ah, 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 and got us back in the lead at 10 minutes after Lukaku's goal. But then nine minutes after that, Daniel Rugani got himself an equaliser. And that's how it finished. But right at the end, we was all over them. We was, pun was pummeling their box. We was throwing everything at them but they was able to hold on and a point at your point against united you're not gonna say no are you people so i was very happy with that but then a performance i was not happy with and a result sort of mirroring a uh, real life because as we all know kanga if you're watching happy days for you christian erickson giving tottenham the win against us we also played them in real life and yeah, I don't really want to talk about that because that was quite poor and so was this. And again, look at that, nobody getting over a seven. So very disappointing result. But since then, we've been on a three game w winning run. Kasper Dolberg gives us a lead against Palace and Anderson with another couple to give us a 3-1 win. And then Cardiff is a game we really should have scored more in. But Dolberg getting us our only goal in the 61st minute. And then Watford with a 2-0 win for us. Renato Sanchez again. He's looking a little bit of a player. He's not been getting into the team that much. But when he has been, he's been looking very, very good. So he's, he got the goal. Dolberg got the second to really ensure the victory in the FA Cup sixth round. So that gets us to where we are today. Where we're going to be playing against Everton. And Everton again in both competitions, the Premier League and the FA Cup. And so let's just go have a look at the team for today's first game against Everton. Marky Noble is suspended for picking up one too many yellow cards. And so I'm going to replace him with Jack Wilshere so I can keep Sanchez on the pitch. And I think that's everybody in. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So that's all the subs. And everybody's fit. So this is going to be the team for today's game. Fabianski in goal. Ogbonna, Balbuena, Diop in the middle of the pitch. Declan Rice just needs a little... No, he doesn't. Declan Rice was needing a rest. But I will just bring him back in for Balbuena. And that makes us a little bit stronger. Here's the team for today's game against Everton. Fabianski in goal. Ogbonna, Rice, Diop in the middle of the defence. Masuaku and Moses on the wings. Wilshere and Sanchez in the middle of the pitch. Arnautovic and Antonio higher up on the wings. And then Dolberg up top. He's been in decent form the last few games. As you can see, 7.6 he's on. He's our best performer over his last five games. So let's hope that continues. And let's get in to this game today. Okay, media prediction, making us the favourites, which is quite nice to see. Even though Everton's form has been stronger, but let's hope we can win this game. And if we do win this, we won't go above Everton. They are 7th and we're 8th. 
but we will catch them up. We'll only be a point behind. So you never know. That could help going forward into the rest of the season. So let's go submit the team. And here we are. Game day. 4-2-3-1 for Everton. Pickford, Digny, King, Zuma, Coleman. Idrissa Garner Gay, Andre, Andre Gomez, Bernard, Sigerson, Rickardson, and Walcott. That's looking a very strong team. But let's hope we are stronger than them today. I just automate the opposition instructions as ever. And then I'm going to go assertive. As always, I like being assertive with these lads. I want you to pick up where you left off last time. And a few of them are motivated. I'll take that. And then I have faith in the rest of you. Let's see if that gets anybody else any happier. Uh, I want to see more of the same from you today for Dolberg. And uh, he's motivated. Okay, so let's go into the tunnel. Let's see how many questions they've got for me today. How much of a boost is Vidal's absence? I'm focusing on what we're doing. And here we go. Okay, so first highlight of the game is Antonio with the throw in. And Dolberg nod. Oh, we've got a penalty. Oh. Dolberg was pushed there, and Dolberg with a brilliant chance to get us ahead early doors. Come on, Dolberg. Come on, Dolberg. Come on, son. He runs up, he hits it, and he scores. Yes. What a start that is. And see, we can score goals on camera. That's our first goal since the first episode, I believe, on camera. At least the first or the second, I think. And so, yes, a brilliant start there. I'm going to praise the lads. And hopefully that will give them a bit of confidence to go and get a couple more goals. And now, eight and a half minutes in, Sigerson to Coleman. Coleman into the box to Ricarlison. Ricarlison back to Idrissa Garnagay. Back to Gomez with a long shot which is blocked. But it finds its way to Digny who gave away the penalty. It's crossed but Masuaku gets it away. And now Arnie on the ball, what can he do with it? He can just lump it long. But now Dolberg's really pressing Zuma there. And he's forced him into a mistake. That's very good to see. Antonio to Dolberg in the box. Antonio with a shot and it's saved. Here we go. Just looking like one more highlight before half time. We win it back off the throw in. Dolberg with a great long pass there to Arnie. Who finds Antonio in space who shoots. And that's 2 0. Yes! We are looking on course for a very good victory, a very important victory, which will give us confidence going forward to the semi-final of the FA Cup. And just to have another look at this on the replay, Sanchez doing great work there, winning the ball back. And then Dolberg with a great pass to Arnie, whose first time volley pass went to Antonio, and he smashed the ball past England's number one, Jordan Pickford. And saying that he was definitely onside. Of course he was. There was never any doubt in my mind. And here we are, guys. That's half time. Eight shots to seven. Six on target to their one. We are absolutely bossing this game. And I'm, that's what I'm going to tell to the lads. I'm going to say I'm very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up. And yep, they're all looking extremely delighted, as they should be. I might start resting people in the next 10-15 minutes just with the FA Cup semi-final in mind. And now Sanchez with an early ball out to Antonio, to Dolberg, back to Moses. Could this be a very early goal in the second half? Moses' cross gets blocked and oh, we won it back. Sanchez goes all the way back to Ogbonna. Why to Masuaku? Can he get it to Arnie? No, he goes to Wilshere. And Wilshere, Matt Masuaku. And we're just Keeping the ball here nicely. Not sure if anything much is going to happen. Sanchez with a long ball. And that's the end of that highlight. And now Sigerson with a free kick. The corner even. It's headed in but just over the bar. Okay, just making one quick change. Uh, Reese Oxford coming on for Angelo Ogbonna. Because Ogbonna's picked up a little bit of a knock. And actually I'm going to make another one now as well. I'm, I'm going to put Lanzini up top. You know what? It's not very, uh, not a thing I would expect to be doing. But you know what? Dolberg needs a rest. I want to see what Lanzini can do. Now, just over 15 minutes left. Everton coming at us again. Coleman with the ball. Crosses it in. Oxford heads it away. Goes back to Tom Davies. To Garnagay. And they're playing a little bit of a 1-2 there. 
Coleman with the ball. He's beat our wing back there. He crosses it in. It goes to Bernard and Diop heads it off the line. Brilliant defending there from the young man. Uh, but again, Everton are coming forward again. Coleman's cross is blocked and it goes out for a corner. And now the corner's come in. And Arnavic gets it out of the box. But McCarlison's going to be the first to get to it. Nope, he lets it go out for a throw in. Now just making one last change. Arnautovic is looking a little bit tired and we need him fit for the rest of the season. So Zadas is coming on for the last 10 minutes. Let's see if he can recreate any of his earlier season magic and get us a goal or two. Now Lanzini with the corner, he whips it in. Ah, uh, that's far too easy for Pickford to collect. Now Fabianski kicking the ball long. Is Lanzini going to get onto this? Yes, he does. He runs, he's in the box, he shoots and oh! Oh, I thought that was going to be a great goal. The full-time whistle has just gone and that wraps up a very, very pleasing result. 2-0 there to the Cockney boys. A very pleasing result and that has got to give us confidence going forward to the FA Cup semi-final. And I'm going to be back with you guys in just a second when we're just getting ready to line up for the FA Cup semi-final. Okay guys, we're back and here we are on the match preview screen and rather weirdly, in my opinion, Everton are the favourites for this game. We was the favourites for the first one and we won that, but now Everton for some reason are the favourites, despite having lost to us just six days ago. But no matter, here we go. It is FA Cup semi-final day at Wembley. It's a little bit rainy, a little bit breezy apparently, but that should all just help us, you would think. And so I'm just making the one change, just bringing Balbuena onto the bench. And yep, here is the team for today's game. Fab's in goal, same as the last game, to be honest, apart from Oxford coming in for Ogbonna. But other than that, it's all completely the same team. So let's go crack on and get out onto the pitch at Wembley. So here we are, Everton again going with their 4-2-3-1. Uh, they've just made a couple of changes. Davies starting and Tozun starting instead of Walcott. So let's hope we can get a similar result to what we had in that first game and book our place in the FA Cup final. And just, that's gone well. So, yep, yep. And, yeah, and attack. I'm going to say the same thing again. I'm expecting to see quality finishing. And that's not got him motivated this time, unfortunately. But let's hope we can just make do. Uh, absence of Mark Noble. Yeah, we've looked good in training. And speculation about the Leicester manager, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Hope let's just stick with him. He's only been there two, three months. Uh, Albiang. I'd rather talk about the players on the pitch. Now can we get on to the game, please? Thank you very much, Mr. Journalist Man. Or woman. Dunno. I wasn't really paying attention to if it was a man or a woman. But now game just starting here. Andre Gomez with a long ball. Moses intercepts it, but it goes back to Sugerson, and that's a nothing highlight. Almost 20 minutes gone, we finally have the first proper highlight of the game. Wilson with a corner, but gets headed away. Finds his way to Moses, who shoots, and West Ham lead. West Ham lead in the FA Cup semi-final against Everton. Moses' first goal for us since returning to the club. And yes, what a start that is. Look at this. Zuma headed it away. Antonio heads it in. Gomez blocks it again, but Moses rifles it into the corner. A little bit lucky to hit the post. But we are in the lead. Can we hold on to this? Minutes later, Sigerson with a corner of his own. We head it away. And can we get on this first? We do. Santonio running at their defence, passes it to Dolberg. And Dolberg is going to need someone to give him a hand, you would think. He finds Arnie. And Arnie plays it out wide to Masuaku. Can he cross it in? He does. Dolberg with the head up. And oh, so close. So, so close. All the highlights are coming now. Lucas Digny with the ball. He plays it. Nice little pass there to Antonio. Thank you, mate. And now Dolberg again with it out wide. Can he cross the ball in? He does. Uh, can he find anybody? No, he doesn't. But Zuma's head up. Yep, does go to Coleman. And Everton scramble it away. 
and I'll end-to-end football this. But Sigurdsson's pass is a poor one, and Fabianski will say, thank you very much, son. And the highlight's still going. What a highlight this is. Keane heads it away, goes to Rickarlison, and Masuaku brilliantly done there to outrun him and get the ball back. And now Dolberg to Arnie. Arnie's past his man. Arnie's in space. Can he get the ball into the box? He does. Takes a deflection and it goes out for a corner. Here with the corner. It's an outswinger this time. And Zuma heads it away. Goes to Arnie. Back to Wilshere. Can Wilshere get the ball in? No, he can't. It goes out for a throw in. And now Masuaku with a corner for us. Whips it in, but Zuma heads it out. Goes to Arnie. And Arnie back to Masuaku. Masuaku gets himself into the box. Sanchez with it. Back to Masuaku. He goes for a cross. Dolberg to Sanchez. And that's all a bit of a blocking game there. And now Declan Rice cuts inside. Goes to Wilshire. We're keeping the ball very nicely here. And as I say that, commentator's curse. We give it away. And But Diop with a great block there. Sanchez. Can Arnie beat his man this time? No, he can't. And Coleman back to England's number one, Jordan Pickford. And he kicks it long. Diop again heads it in with absolutely no pressure on him. And Dolberg turns. Antonio, can he get the ball into the box? He needs some help here, I think. No, he doesn't. He crosses it in. He's taken an own goal. Michael Keane with the own goal. And we are 2 0 up in the FA Cup semi final. Are we on our way to our first final since that dreadful day in 2006? What a calamity that is. Keane really find himself in the wrong place. Didn't really have much of a choice but to try and get something on that. And now Sigerson with a free kick, goes short to Gomez. But we again win it back nicely. And now it's Antonio with it. Antonio running at the Everton defence. Plays it to Dolberg, who's in space. Can he make it free in the first half? He doesn't. Pickford saves. And it goes out for another corner. How many is that now we've had? Six or... Yes, yeah, six in the first half, which is quite mad. Masaraki with the corner. And that's quite poor. And that gets cleared. But we again win it back and throw it forward. And that's the end of that tar. And that's it, guys. It's half time. We are 45 minutes away from the FA Cup final. Can we hold on? I think we will. Everton have not played well over the last game and a half. So I'm going to go. I'm very happy with the way things are going. And everyone's happy. Everyone's delighted. Now let's go see this through. Okay, so an hour gone. It's us coming forward again. Antonio with a cross goes to Arnautovic, but gets headed away. And now Ricarlison running at our defence, but our defence keeping it safe very nicely. Ricarlison goes forward, beats one man, goes to Sigerson, to Bernard, and all off the post. Oh. Okay, so 65 minutes gone. I'm going to bring the man cross, Lanzini, on for Arnautovic. And Obiang in place of Wilshere, I think. Uh, Wilshere's having, he's having our best, our second best game. So, you know what's going to be Obiang on for Sanchez instead. And yet, we're going to leave it at that. And hopefully, that will help us see this through and book our place in the final. Come on, lads. Bernard now coming forward with a ball. Hits our man. Goes out for a throw in. Just about five minutes left of normal time. Bernard to Digny. To Schneiderlin, but we win it back nicely there. Antonio throws the ball long. Lanzini loses it. And Everton are coming forward again. Ricarlison to Walcott. No, 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 don't make me nervous. Don't make me nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Oh, this would be so West Ham. This would be so West Ham. I'm going to go balanced. And I'm going to tell the lads to tighten themselves up after this highlight, if I'm allowed. And Walcott with the goal there. Giving Everton a little bit of hope. And Souths tighten up. <sighs> and oh my gosh, no. Boo de boo with the corner. Ricarlison, no! Oh no! I don't believe this. We had it won. Oh, this is so typical West Ham. 
How? How? How has this happened? Oh. I don't know what to do now. I've taken Arnavich off because I thought we had the game won. Oh. Bad jokes. You are a muppet. Oh. And well, at the end of 90 minutes, we're going to have to go again. We are going to have to go again. I'm going to have to pick the lads up. I'm going to go passionately. Don't let this slip away now. And if most of them have gained confidence, that's very good to see. And I'm going to go for Dolberg. Uh, you weren't that bad, but I believe you can improve. He looks happy. Oh, we've won it once. In the famous words of Alf, of Alf Ramsey, we've won it once. Go and win it again. Well, absolutely nothing happened in that first period of extra time. Everybody's looking very, very knackered. Do I've got one ace up my sleeve. I've got a substitution remaining. So did I, to be honest. Do, do I take a risk? Take Antonio off and throw Zadas on? Or do I keep Antonio on? For the penalty shootout, change him with Wilshire and throw Zadas where Antonio is. Tactical genius incoming, lads. Tactical genius is incoming. So Zadas on for Wilshire. And then Zadas sw switches with Antonio. This is either tactical genius or tactical suicide. Oh, the first highlight is ever earned. Oh, he... No, no. Oh, two nil up with three minutes of normal time to go. I thought it was in the bag. Oh, give me a minute. I'm gonna be pause. I'm going to be chucking just everybody forward now. It doesn't matter. I cannot believe this. Uh, throw Zadas where Obiang is. Why not? And then, I don't know, just all advance forwards. And just chuck the ball forward long. And so, uh, in possession, much more direct passing. Focus play through the middle. A very narrow attacking play, I think. And, yeah. I can't believe this. This is, this is optimum West Ham. It's not going to happen. We've got 20 seconds to do something. Can Zadas win this header? We can't, and we have got no midfield left. Oh, Walcott, don't be an arse. Thank God for that. We get the ball out. Boo-da-boo -boo with the corner if he's going to get the time. Nope, even sure he doesn't. Oh, my days. How have we lost that game? How have we lost that? Oh, I don't know. Ah, oh, 3-2. I'm going to leave it there. I know it's been a longer episode, but if you've stuck to the end, it's been worth it for the drama. So please give us a like down below. Give us a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for FM content. The main game's out. It's looking like some point next week, I'll be starting the Met Police save. So subscribe for all that. I've got Pro Evo content as well and WWE 2K19 content. Subscribe for all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. And yeah, one thing left to say, just like us in the cup, I am Bad Jokes Gaming and I'm out.